these buildings are used as a teaching tool. So we, we first design curriculum around the building. So we work with the teachers uh, generally to create about 10 hours of curriculum at each grade level in, in each subject matter. The teachers have all of the building data available to them in the classroom so they can see how much energy the building's using, how much energy it's generating, how much water it's using. They can see how the geothermal well field is performing at any time. And all that data is available to them in the classroom. So then students can do projects. They can do science projects or math projects or writing assignments about the building and, and how it's performing. That's, so that's sort of the baseline. And then there's an energy wise club. And that's a club where we bring together students that are really interested in building science or maybe are interested in public speaking because these students end up touring a lot of people around the building. And, and so it's a, it's a great opportunity for public speaking, but students that are inter interested in building science, they become intimately familiar with all of the systems in the building. Uh, they, they compete nationally, regionally and nationally in energy and sustainability competitions. And we've actually had several schools that have won some national awards. And so we're really excited about that. It, it, students just really get engaged with the building, with this idea of sustainability in the built environment. And it, and it becomes uh, really the thing that they become very passionate about in school and, and the thing that helps them learn and grow. And, and, and again, once you get a student excited about learning, they don't need you quite as much. Uh, they just need you to facilitate and be there and help guide that process.